Hey, I'm Brent. I'm excited about PHP 8.1 and I would like together with some of the core developers and members of the PHP community share the awesome features of this newest release. So PHP 8.1 introduces a new data type called enums. It's basically a set of predefined values declared in one entity. Here's Larry, one of the creators of enums. Enums are an important tool in application modeling as it lets you define your own micro universe of allowed states. You can then structure your application such that invalid states become impossible. The language syntax itself prevents them from even being described. That means you need less testing and error handling for conditions that cannot exist, giving you safer, more self-describing code with less effort. Now you've probably used enums one way or another in your code. For example, you could just use class constants, but they make your code more fragile and error prone because PHP's type system doesn't really have insights in them. You could use userland enum implementations based on classes. My enums most often look like this. There's of course also the very popular PHP enum package written by Mathieu. Hey, it's Mathieu. I've been maintaining the PHP enum package for years now. And now PHP 8.1 will support enums natively. And this is great news for everyone. So I can't wait to tell users to upgrade PHP, use the native enum feature, and eventually we can get rid of the PHP enum package. So that's great. Now, whichever user land enum implementation you used, you'll be happy to hear that enums will be built into PHP 8.1. In their most basic form, they look something like this. You can type hint them just like any other object. And you can create and pass them around like so. On top of that, you can add methods to enums, which is especially useful combined with PHP 8's match operator. Also, there's the possibility to assign string or integer values to enums, which make them so-called backed enums. Moving on to read-only properties. It's one of those features that are especially useful if you're working with value objects or data transfer objects. And if you want to ensure that your object state can't be changed from the outside, it was already possible to do so with private properties and getters, but read-only properties reduce the overhead of boilerplate code significantly. Here's Nikita. Immutable value objects in PHP used to require a lot of boilerplate in the form of getters and setters, um, explicit assignment in the constructor, and so on. Um, now, in recent PHP versions, we have the combination of type properties on constructor property promotion and now read-only properties, which together give you a very convenient and compact way to declare immutable value objects. So at this point, it's about as simple as declaring an ad hoc array structure, and that is indeed the goal here. Next up are fibers, a low-level component uh, that makes managing concurrency in PHP easier. Is one of the core maintainers of AMP, which is a, a popular async framework in PHP. PHP 8.1 ships with an exciting new feature for writing asynchronous code built right into the language, fibers. You might have already heard about fibers using another similar term like coroutines or green threads. Most existing cooperative multitasking libraries currently use promises, which are designed to avoid callback hell. And while promises greatly improve writing asynchronous code, they lead to another problem where your entire call stack must now return promises. Fibers are designed to avoid this problem by suspending the entire call stack instead of only a single layer at a time like a generator. And while PHP remains single-threaded and fibers don't magically make your existing code asynchronous, Async frameworks will be able to use multiple fibers on a single thread to await multiple I.O. operations at once. We're launching a new project, Revolt, to take care of the event loop and provide helpful abstractions around fibers for you. AMP, React PHP, and others will be able to provide further abstractions using non-blocking I.O. and fibers under the hood. Many of AMP's libraries already have development branches ready for the next major version using Revolt and fibers, so go check them out. So while fibers are a rather low-level technical component, they will improve the UX of async frameworks like AMP or React PHP significantly. Next, there's something that might seem like a small detail, 
but it will actually impact my and many other developers' lives in a good way. We're able to use new in initializers, and that means as default values in parameter lists, as well as in attributes and a few other places. Here's Nikita again. New initializers is a relatively minor convenience feature. Um, in particular, it allows you to use the null object pattern about as easily as using a ordinary null value. In addition to that, it gives you nested attributes for free. I actually only realized that after implementing it, um, because it's not really a separate feature, it just gives you the ability to use other objects as arguments to attributes. So we've already covered a bunch of great features and there's even more to come. But first, let's discuss performance in PHP 8.1. Here's Dimitri sharing some of his insights. Now, JIT speedups PHP Parser by more than two times. And in comparison with PHP 8.0, the code produced with PHP Parser becomes about 20% smaller and 10% faster. PHP 8.1 make uh, huge performance improvement for real-life applications, especially for framework-based applications. For example, Symfony Demo becomes about 25% faster. And this is the result of two new technologies implemented in PHP 8.1 and also a lot of small performance fixes and tweaks. Finally, we made a lot of uh, performance fixes in uh, XData, TimeLeap, uh, SPL file system iterators and uh, different uh, internal functions. It's good to see how PHP's performance keeps improving with every new update. So moving on to first-class callables, a new way of referencing closures and functions. While previously you could already reference them by using their name as a string or by creating a callable array, there's now this proper syntax to create a callable from any given function, so that you can call it later. Finally, I want to quickly mention some other smaller additions and changes. Um, array unpacking now supports uh, string keys as well. Class constants can be made final so that they can't be overwritten by child classes. There's a new array is list function that determines whether an array only has numerical keys starting from zero and incrementing by one, whether, whether it's an actual list. There's a new way of writing octal integers. And we also have pure intersection types now. And they are kind of similar to union types, but they represent a Boolean AND expression, where unions represent a Boolean ALL expressions. Uh, they are useful if you often use interfaces in your code. And finally, there's the NEVER type, a return type that indicates that a function won't ever return. That means it will either exit or always throw an exception. It's a particularly useful feature for static analyzers. So like I said, I'm excited about PHP 8.1 and I hope you are too. There are tons of awesome new features and I can't wait to start using them.